We're going to call this motorcycle 75 Unrestored Wonder Z1. It's a 75 Z1 900 with 7,813 miles. And we, we believe this is going to run. What we're going to do is, is first things first, we're going to go through everything and uh, we're going to make sure the carbs are good. We're going to make sure the clutch is good. We're going to rebuild the front brake because the front brake is nothing. We're going to rebuild the lower brake. We're going to make the, it's got the original tires on it. It's got a Dunlop F6 on the front and it's got the K87 on the rear. Now, we're not going to leave these tires on. We're going to change them. We're going to make the bike more modern. We're going to put a uh, genuine exhaust on it. But we're going to leave it intact as it is. If you come over here, you see it's got the 4 and 2 muffler, and they put this bar on it right here to keep it from hitting the muffler and everything. But, I mean, if you look in here, you're going to see that still it's got the yellow paint on the carburetors. Got the original, the original uh, spark plug caps. Got a little ding on the tank. Can't have it all. But we still have the plastic on the levers. We got some yellow paint here on the bolts for, for the pre-delivery inspection. Paint here. This is a gorgeous bike. This is gorgeous. Uh, I think this is going to be a great, great piece. And we're going to make a nice everyday rider out of it. So someone will be able to enjoy it the way that uh, it was intended for. This is a fantastic bike. I believe I have the toolkit for it. We'll be looking for all that stuff as we progress. Underneath the seat here, uh, we do have the air cleaner lid. We do have the, the battery band. And I believe I have the toolkit, like I said before. I'll see if I got a manual. I don't know for sure. But it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's got a K&N filter on it. You can see that. But the battery box is nice, and we are not going to restore this motorcycle. We're going to sell this as a, a great, great everyday running motorcycle low mileage bike it's all good okay well thanks for taking a look at our stuff and uh, we'll keep you posted on the progress and everything that we're doing to it thanks a lot okay here's our wonderful 75 z1 unrestored this is a nice bike although we've not had a chance to get it running uh, we start off we put on the rear a new kind of tire and we kind of cleaned it up a little bit back here degreased some stuff not big cleanup, but some. Kind of want to keep it all original. One of the things we did do was the at the stator cover, just to make sure we didn't have any issues, we put one of these stator cover grommet inserts. And this goes in the stator wires. And a lot of times the bikes will be leaking out of here. So this is the, uh, this is the fix for that. And also... A uh, long time ago, you had to buy the whole stator assembly to get this rubber. So this is pretty cool. We get these from Japan. Actually, the, the Dormy collection sells these. So we're replacing the standard regulator and rectifier. We have the Rick's Electric one, in, and we mount it under the box right here. This is the, that's the coolest, or the coolest. It's, uh, if you want something that, that uh, you just want to be a nice dependable ride, even though it's not original, but it, it'll ensure that you get a decent ride out of it. And we have more faith in that than we do the reproduction stuff. So also over here, we have uh, the Kenda tire. And if we come to this side of the motorcycle, Hilo's got the Spark Advance out. So he's servicing the Spark Advance and we're gonna retain the stock points and everything in here. So that's kind of what the, this is what they look like. And this pin right here, this is a, a part of the crankshaft. You can replace that, but this is what uh, triggers the spark advance. 
Okay, uh, we're gonna retain the oil cooler on here. And we're gonna put an oil change on it and stuff. And then we're gonna put a new front Kenna tire on it. So we just kinda wanna show you where we're at with it so far. And uh, we're gonna be pulling the clutch and take a look and see how ring this is. I'm sure it's gonna be a really, really nice piece. Kilo's taken the carburetors and gone through them. They made them nice and clean. He cleaned out all the jets and everything. It's got new intake manifolds here, as you can see. And he dialed in the points. The points are dialed in and everything ready to go, and new spark plugs. So uh, it's hard to really show you how much has been done to this one because everything kind of seems kind of compact. But uh, it's moving right along and uh, got a new battery in it and stuff. So uh, we'll have this uh, ready to go probably Monday. See that we got the original tool kit. Got the, uh, uh, this is a, one of the things that's not genuine on a bike. It's got a, a sealed battery, so it doesn't have the vent tube. So we don't want uh, the, the acid and stuff to get out. This is uh, kind of exciting here. This is still new, never used. This is the feeler gauge that goes for the points. Bag's kind of crummy, as you can see. However, it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's got all the, the goodies in it and everything, and uh, this would be a nice bike. These are the pipes that we're going to put on it. Uh, we're going to clean it up a little bit. And uh, these are genuine. So uh, this is going to be a pretty good looking, good looking deal here. So these are all genuine. They're all pretty nice. Now, uh, this one here is missing the baffle. And a couple other ones are missing the baffles too. So what we're going to do is we want to keep the bike all genuine stuff. So if you come in this room here, if you come to this side, you'll see the baffles. So because they're so old, the baffles are, are rusted in there. I mean, they're stuck. Okay. So um, what we're going to do, I'm not going to throw the pipes away, but we're going to cut the pipes out right here. Because this is damaged. We need three baffles and we got three pipes. So this is why I kept so much stuff over the years. Here's another baffle. So as you can see, this pipe here is kind of crushed right here and bent and everything else. So we're going to cut the pipe out. And this is a damaged pipe. So we're going to take the baffle out of this one. And if you look right here, it's the same story. This pipe here is really gooned. But we're gonna take these pipes apart. We're gonna remove the baffles so we keep it all genuine. And then we'll uh, have some more scrap metal. Okay, we just kinda wanted to show you the depth that we go to make these bikes right. So rather than go out and buy the reproduction baffles, I don't know if you can still get them or not, but uh, this was just a, uh, a quick and easy fix. So we're gonna bust it open. And, uh, we'll show you uh, uh, Monday how we how we do this so as you can see we have the exhaust stock exhaust on it these are the pipes so these are the baffles that we took out of the pipes that we had in the back so we cut the other pipes out and painted those and blasted them and everything so they're pretty cool then if you come over to this side you can see that we've cleaned out the gas tank no dirt no grime or anything in it that's all pretty clean and then we rebuilt the front brake master cylinder and caliper and we're using a dot five fluid okay, we're using a dot five brake fluid mainly because it, it, it stays consistent and it doesn't turn into the powder and stuff and if you if you spill it on the tank and stuff it doesn't eat away at the paint like normal dot four brake fluid were now we have to go through the points a little bit and put a new front tire on it and it'll be ready to sell. So thank you so much for tuning in to our videos and talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Motorcycle. We just completed the 75 Z1 unrestored motorcycle. If you come and look at it, the mileage is 7,819 miles. And this is exactly how they came. I mean, you got the wonderful switches, the bands, 
a little little rust here on the bolts but not bad you got the yellow paint still on the nut nice bike really nice bike original paint now we've done a few things to it but it's it's rideable you know it's gonna this is the we have a gentleman interested in buying this bike he's coming down today to button her up and uh some of the things we have done to it are we put the kenda tires on it now that's definitely a must uh, we got kenda the kenda retroactives front and rear and of course we did an oil filter and uh, spectral oil for the engine we're running 10w40 spectral petroleum based oil nothing fancy but just good straight oil we sell it on our webpage if you if you can't find it anywhere um we also we're going to show you a up close picture of this but underneath here we put the new dyno plug it right here we're uh we're usually a lot of malik out of here especially sitting on the center stand so we did put the new dyno plug rubber there it's got a you can't see this from here but there's a rick electric regulator rectifier on it the gentleman that's getting the bike is from detroit and we, you know, he just wants a nice solid riding piece so we thought we'd do all the updates that way he wouldn't have to come back and so we also uh the bike came with a lockhart oil cooler on it which you can see right here these are getting kind of hard to find so uh we adjusted the cam chain uh, we greased the swing arm bolts um went through the points the spark advance unit and uh, we rebuilt the carburetors and uh, we also replaced the carburetor T's that go between them and I'll, we'll show you a picture of those. We have a Pingo fuel valve on it, which is just a nice safety thing. I, I, I believe in those. And uh, of course we had uh, the new uh, genuine Kawasaki intake manifolds. These are new. Boy, this is clean right here and uh spark plugs uh side stand rubber that goes up here against the 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 uh, exhaust pipe right here so it kind of just this rubber here put a new one of those on it and uh we rebuilt the front brake master cylinder we re uh, rebuilt the caliper this is all nice 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 stuff of course we use the dot five brake fluid on it and uh also what we're going to here we replace these gas tank rubbers all the time this is a beautiful gorgeous gas tank on the inside we cleaned it up and we put a new rubber here so this is this is fantastic stuff this is a little little noogie here on the gas tank but this is nice go underneath here We'll take a look. You can see the wonderful pins. Everything is original, with some exceptions. It's got a K&N air filter in it. The cover here is a little goon, but we just had to leave that on because it is what it is. Got a nice band. Now this does have the sealed battery. I don't like to use the vent tube batteries, and you can see where the tube went. We we didn't. We didn't put one of those batteries on it because we just didn't want battery acid all over the place. And then if you look, you got the original tool kit. They're actually pretty nice and you got that brand new fuel strip still in there, never been out of the package. And you can see how wonderful all the beautiful hardware is. This is an unrestored motorcycle. This is, this is nice. This is unrestored. Got the tool tray here and everything with a nice decal. Unrestored motorcycle. I'm looking, still see dust on my finger. I mean, this is this is totally cool. Not the right seat. I mean, this is just a, a great bike. So, uh, you know, of course we have, like we said earlier, we have the Kenda retroactive tires and everything. So, um, we didn't get to ride this much. We put about five miles on it. I like to ride them 100 miles before I let them go, but there is snow on the ground, and I don't want to, don't need any accidents. So we're, it's cold outside, it's like in the mid-20s here. So 
I'm gonna see if we can get this to start. Choke up all the way. Now, all, all the way over here is off. We marked that off for the customer. This is reserve, this is on, and I like to put them in reserve just because. So let's see if she starts up. Got all the lights ready to go. This is a nice bike. Uh, we've not seen too many of them lately with less than 8,000 miles, that's for sure. And uh, it's all the correct hardware. This is how they're supposed to be. I, I love the unrestored condition. This is a really, 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 really good bike. Okay, in case anybody was wondering, these yellow marks were from the factory where they were showing the inspection points and stuff of where they tighten them up and everything. I know it doesn't really look good on there as far as like the show bike, but boy, that's original stuff. And I'd probably, I'd probably leave that on there. That's always a nice added feature, especially when I'm buying something original. So I, I hope our customer has a great time with it. Okay, thanks for tuning in our videos.